We don't have that. But we have, so we just have uh, data, but then we use some creativity <laughs> uh, and we convert this into a supervised task. All right, so what is machine learning? That's the question we're gonna try to answer and get a good understanding of in this video. Um, so uh, for that, we can define it in different degrees of specificity so that if someone asks you, what is machine learning, then you have a good understanding and can uh, answer it depending on the person. So the, the broadest uh, way to explain it uh, might be something like machine learning is the main driving force behind artificial intelligence where the goal is to build a machine that can display intelligence. Now this is a, maybe a good way of explaining what machine learning is to someone who you just that someone asks you what like what do you do? Oh you work in machine learning? Well uh, what's that? And then you can explain what it is uh, in something similar to this but to us that are sort of into the field then uh, this is unclear, right? Because we don't, you know, what what is intelligence? Um, and so this is a bit vague. Uh, and it was also said by me just now. Uh, another way, another with more uh, greater specificity is to say that machine learning is the field of study that gives computers the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. This was by Arthur Samuel in 1959. Uh, this is a lot better because now we're introducing programming. We're also introducing that it doesn't have to be explicitly programmed. And so that means that it's not traditional programming or software 1.0, if you will, by writing line by line of code. Uh, but to me, this is a little bit clearer still because, well, we don't really define what we mean by ability to learn. Uh, what does that mean? So it leaves up to interpretation. The greatest uh, or most specificity that I've come across is that a computer uh, is by Tom Mitchell. And he said, a computer program is said to learn from experience E with respect to some class of tasks T and performance measure P. If its performance at tasks in T as measured by P improves with experience E. Now this can, when you first read or hear this, it might sound very, um, I don't know, difficult to grasp maybe. But all he's really saying here is that, for example, if we have a model and we give the model experience, then at a particular task, it improves under a certain metric. So for example, if we have a model and we give it data, which is experience, then uh, we might look at the accuracy of how well it's doing its prediction. Uh, that's our performance measure. And the task is to classify what is in the this particular image, for example. So that's, uh, to me, the, the greatest specificity. Uh, let me know what you think, if these are good ways of defining it, or if you would like to redefine it. But then we can also look at, so, you know, this is how you define ML as a broad, but what are the the subcategories of how you do this? So there are, as you can imagine, there are different many different categories of machine learning uh, that's still increasing uh, right Be because uh, it's still a new field in many ways um, but let's say so I would define it in four different uh, first we have supervised learning and my goal here is only for you to uh, now get an, uh, an idea of first of all what the subcategories are and get an intuitive sense of, get an idea of what they are. But in the future videos, we will go through and sort of get a deeper understanding for each. So then we have unsupervised learning. And thirdly, uh, recommender systems. And fourth, reinforcement learning. reinforcement learning um, so and you know there are of course many many more um, for example one word you hear a lot is self-supervised learning 
in t uh, today, self-supervised learning or even semi-supervised learning. Um, there are like a bunch of different names, uh, but as I will explain soon, I think these are sort of sub subcategories in that self-supervised is a, uh, a particular combination, for example, of these four main categories. But so self-supervised uh, learning is uh, to just get an intuitive sense is that uh, humans have sat down. So humans have sat down and said, this is correct and this is not correct. So basically we have data X and we have humans that have sat down and created Y, which are, is this an image of a cat or a dog? Unsupervised learning is where no humans have sat down and corrected anything. It's just the data, the raw images, uh, or the images by itself, just the data. And the idea is that the computer by itself will learn to uh, find out what's correct or not. This is a uh, very difficult, and so it's uh, supervised learning is much more common. Uh, recommender systems, we are basically trying to recommend something. Uh, for example, uh, Netflix, you're watching movies, uh, and it tries to find, you know, well, what does this? What kind of movies does a user like? Does this user like? And uh, so it tries to recommend you a movie. Reinforcement learning is basically playing games. So you have an agent in some environment in the game, uh, and it's trying to get some reward by winning the game. So this this is basically games. This is yeah. So. Now, this is just an overview. I will go into the specifics and you will get a deeper understanding for each of these in future, uh, future subsequent videos that will be uploaded. So if you look at self-supervised learning, for example, um, not to get into the specifics of it, which we will do in future videos, but for now, we can understand su self-supervised learning as an unsupervised task. So we have data where no human has sat down and said, this is correct. And this is not correct. We don't have that, but we have, so we just have uh, data, but then we use some creativity <laughs> uh, and we convert this into a supervised task. So basically self-supervised is unsupervised turned into a supervised task. S uh, Semi-supervised is a combination. So we have unsupervised, and uh, sorry, and supervised. So what this means is that, again, we have data that don't have any humans that have sat down and said correct, uh, cor if it's what's correct or not. So we don't have labels. Uh, and, and we have some data uh, that humans have sat down and said this is correct or not. So for example, we have image images of cat and dog where people have said this is an image of a cat and a dog and then we have a lot uh, other images where we don't know so basically this area is trying to uh, find how can we effectively utilize this unlabeled data but anyways uh, this is just an overview and uh, if you didn't follow exactly on this in the last don't worry uh, all I want is for you to have heard about these different uh, categories now and have an an, an understanding that's not maybe so deep and then we will go into that in future videos let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching the video hope to see you in the next one